All right, guys, we're back in the shed for another army trailer stint. We've got plenty to do, so let's crack on with it. So today, I wanna to keep cracking on with this army trailer. If you missed the last episode, we actually shortened the whole trailer, so this wall actually came out to about here. So we've shortened it right down, we've added these massive guards onto it. These mud guards here, they're sort of just floppy, and I've only got a couple tacks on the top of them. So we do need to brace them, and what I'm thinking about doing is actually adding a bit of a slider out of some box section. I bolt it onto there, I can bring it out and around, and then weld the mud guard to the box section. Then we can put a plate on top. It'll also act as a step as well as a slider. We'll also be doing one to the front. I just don't know how I'm gonna do the front yet because I've got chassis rail here, so I might be able to bring it around and out to here. But my only concern with that is when you open this toolbox, it's probably gonna hit on the slider itself there and we could potentially damage the door. Now the other thing is these two gaping holes. I am gonna plate them with the off cuts from the mud guards because we did actually shorten these mud guards as well. I've got some steel to plate that. I've also got some steel left over from Cole's tray just sitting there ready to go. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough but if I could at least get one side how I want it, that would be great. I've actually also drawn the hard lid design for this because we are putting a hard lid to mount the rooftop tent to. I've actually measured and sent that off to a fabricator to get made out of aluminium because we knock on steel on top of this thing. I'm trying to keep the weight down as much as possible. So aluminium top is currently getting made. Now to make this slider, I am going to be using probably 50 by 50. I also have 40 by 40, which wouldn't be too bad, but I think 50 by 50 would look a little bit better. I have a scrap of 50 by 75, which is out of the question, I think, at the moment. I've only got this one length, which is probably only about two meters, and it's not gonna be enough, I'd say. So if we can get one side done, I can go and buy another length of this another time and make the other side. Now, one problem I can see already is when building this slider, I really wanna attach it to the, the frame of the trailer because the frame is the strongest part of this trailer. Now, if I attach it to the frame down here and bring it out, and then attach it to the mud guard. The mud guard is attached to the body, which would make them one piece. Unless I actually bolted the slider through the actual chassis so I could disconnect it. So I'm gonna have a quick little thing, but I, th I think the best bet is actually to bolt it down here so I can remove it. have the piece I've just been working on. Now I did change the design of it a little bit. We are not gonna be welding to the chassis anymore. I'm just gonna be welding to the actual body of the trailer. Now the benefit to that is, like I said before, being able to take the body off. I think it is quite important, so I, that's why I did change this. But I'm not gonna have enough box section to do the other side yet, so we're just gonna keep going with this one side. But she's all tacked up and it sits in pretty good. Right about there. The best part about this is I can actually weld it underneath to the body. I can weld it on the corner to the body here and then we can weld right along the mud guard. And it's gonna brace that mud guard up a shit ton. Now we got the shape of the back one. I'm gonna move on to the front one. Front one, what I'm thinking is we come out and we go 45, 45, make our 90 degree. And you see those two bolt holes there? I think I can actually make it so it bolts onto the chassis there. I think that'll be the plan for this one and I've only got that piece of box left, so good luck. So I actually just quickly tack these on. Very happy with this one. I really like 
how this is tapered back. I really, really like that one. I think that one looks good. I don't like this one at the front at all. I just think that looks a little bit weird. The other option is to actually not run a front slider at all, is to just have a bar just across there, just to brace that mud guard. The downside to having it is it hits on that. Because I don't like this very much, I'm actually gonna take this off and just try to do something just in this corner here and just see what we can come up with. So what I've made is just this piece here, box section slider, I guess. I think it looks pretty good. I think that looks a thousand times neater than that piece of garbage. So I am going to quickly tack this on and have a look at it. All right, that's all tacked in. I think that looks much, much, much better. Sort of won't interfere with the box so we can open, open this up, drop it down. It's not gonna clash at all. But yeah, those are the sliders, guys. That is basically, gonna be it. I call them sliders, but really they're just like steps and mud guard reinforcements. I think once that's all painted, it will look really good. It obviously looks a little bit weird being blue. Yeah, I'm really liking that. So one of the last steps for today is gonna to be to do these infill panels. So these two holes, either side of the mud guard, look disgusting, so they need to be filled up. I have the offcuts of the guard here, so I will be reusing that and then just doing a little border of where they need to go. Those infill panels are made and definitely not tacked yet. I wanna actually tidy up all the rust and I need to actually weld this bit here before I tack them in. So this side's actually completely done um, for today. The only thing I need to come back and do is plate the top of this. Now the only other thing I can do for today is make the infill panels on this side, which the templates that I just made don't fit, they're a little bit out. So in that little time lapse, you just see me make up this, so that'll be fitted on there the guards all trimmed to suit so that's just about ready to put on here yeah, guys that's how it is going to look for the foreseeable future i don't think i'll be changing it from here on out so get a load of it because that is pretty much it she's come a long way in even two weekends so i'm pumped i'm absolutely pumped the last episode i was actually coming down with a massive cold you can kind of still hear it in my voice too so i do apologize for a bit of crappy sound coming out my old uh lungs here Normally I film one day and I edit it and that's the video that you guys will see. But I really want to get these sliders done for just this one video. So I did pick up some box section through the week to finish off the other side. And I've also picked up some aluminium sheet to sheet this side. So one thing I did that I'm actually very happy about is I wrote my angle cut on the side here. So 16.5 um, degrees on each side is what these angles are going to be. And I think that's a really good practice to do if you're not really sure what you're doing yet is to just write all your measurements down so you know exactly what to do. This is the sheet that I picked up. It's actually aluminium, I'm gonna pop rivet it on, and um, it's three mil thick, so it's quite nice. And I, I really like flat plate over check plate. I just think it looks a lot better. And the other thing I wanna do is actually add a bar from there to there so I can seam weld right along the side there so it's gonna be plenty strong enough if I do back into something. So I'm gonna do that as well.
All right, guys, so as you can see here, I've recreated this uh, first slider that we made. Now, what I want to do is add a piece that just goes from there through to here. I can mitre this corner, so 45, 45, exactly the same as what we did here. I can mitre that and uh, weld that together, and then I can actually cut and then just shut this side off so that will get fully welded to this box, and then I'll just make a end cap to cap that off so it's a fully enclosed slider. That way, if we're traveling and all that water can't come into it at all and just rot it out from the inside. I'm gonna cut this. That's just a rough um, idea of where everything needs to be cut. So I'll cut that off, cut that, and I'll make two of these and um, tack this together and fully enclose it. And then hopefully we can uh, get them welded onto the body for real. And earlier today, I actually went and bought a speed square. This thing is freaking awesome. I absolutely love it. And I also got a massive ruler today, which is absolutely mint because I've been using a piece of flat bar that is heavy as. So this thing is gonna come in clutch when I need it. A couple more tools to add to the big red box. She's getting full. She's looking juicy. And I'd have now got bolt nut collection, hose clamps, everything. I am slowly kitting this thing out. It's coming along friggin' awesome. I know all this tool talk's off topic, but I am actually thinking about moving um, my main bench to down here closer to the door and possibly the toolbox over beside it. I do have a door there, which I don't really use. I, I do sometimes, but I could do without it. So the toolbox could go in front of that door, but I'm really thinking I want to start working along there or along this wall here. I'm not quite sure yet. So still having to think about that. Let me know what you guys think. Back to the metal work that I love doing. Right now, as you guys can see, we have both our sliders sitting here. Now I've finished cutting everything that I need to cut. So that is, gonna go like that and I made these little end caps to get welded on the end to seal that off so I'm gonna get to welding these fully out because I can't weld on my wooden bench I actually just flipped up this off-cut piece of trailer you guys said I need a welding table well now I bloody have one don't I definitely not winning any awards for welding today. They are fully welded and I just sped through it. I just wanted to get over and done with. I did also do these 75 by 50 pieces and I made a little end cap for the back of them. So no crap can get in them either. What I need to do now because my plate is gonna go flat over the top of that is actually just grind down the tops of these surfaces so I can actually sit the plate flat. Then we can actually start fitting them up for the final time. So I managed to get everything just about tacked on. I have actually loaded some weld onto these front ones and I can already see it on them. These things are bloody strong as, and they're not even fully welded yet. This is the old drain hole, which obviously we're not using anymore. So I've just loaded some weld around that. And um, yeah, it's not the prettiest job, but she's strong as an ox. These sliders at the rear are fully tacked on and it kind of sucked because I had accidentally cut this mud guard too short. You might've seen it in the video. There was about a 15 mil gap from the box section to the guard. And I was compensating before by actually having it on a tilt and I didn't realize. I have actually got my angle meter out and this is zero degrees and this is zero degrees. So these sliders are perfectly true this way in comparison to the body. I think they look bloody good, actually. I'm really, really liking them. Adding this bar here is gonna allow me to weld right along the corner here making this strong as as well. So over the other side, which just seems to be going better, this whole side, just everything about it's better because you practice on one side and then you perfect it on the other. That one there is ready to be welded as well. And you can see 
on this one i have also loaded up the weld so i don't really know what to do next i obviously need to fully weld it off i can't really make these plates until all my weld is complete so i think i'll just do that i think i'll just go through and just sort of spot weld right along there and right along there she is looking bloody mint The welding is done, but I just wanted to quickly show everyone that we did actually upsize our sticker. So we have the current Rome Life sticker, but I've supersized it for those who want to run a uh, window banner, sort of like that. Uh, available on the website now, so jump on, check them out, grab a mint sticker, be a legend. Anyway, that's enough of the trying to sell you guys shit. This is now fully welded on the uh, slider department, so that actually went really well. Because the trailer has its own little box weld, I actually can weld to the weld, which actually makes it like a thicker weld so these are some bloody thick welds and they're going to be nice and strong the next step is to just quickly sheet it now, that shouldn't take too long hopefully but i have this three mil aluminium plate sitting here ready to go so what i'm going to do is cardboard template the top of this cut it out of the aluminium then we can pop rivet it straight on these turned out so bloody good that looks friggin mint the sliders are pretty much done. All that's left to do is to actually pop rivet it to the box. Could use tech screws, could just sicker flex it. I love the angle. You back into something, it's gonna push you off to the side. There's no sharp corners on it. All folded corners. Looks so damn good. That looks sick. I'm happy as with all this. I think it's turned out mad. Looks a bit weird with the box off it now, but you get the picture. trailer sliders are finally done now that was a two-day event yeah i think they turned out really good i'm very happy with the aluminium plate on top obviously once it's all one color it's not going to look as weird as it looks now hopefully you guys are as pumped as i am about this little trailer build it's definitely starting to take shape i think it looks bloody good now actually now that's all i actually have time for today so thanks so much for watching hopefully you're enjoying the build and uh don't forget about the new stickers on the website because they look bloody good